You may not recognize this location, but this is the Sands Between, back where we fought that giant crab. There are a lot of things I did not see here, and I have less than a quarter of all of the crystals that are here, the umami crystals. There's also, looks like a shell over there, bunch of different shortcuts, and honestly, I didn't explore this place very much. The other reason I'm here is just to see how darn strong we've gotten since we've been here last. So no matter what's around, I should be able to basically one shot most, if not all of it. I'm kind of nervous because we know that gigantic worm that can eat me in one bite is around here somewhere. But as long as I avoid most of the open areas and kind of hug the rocks a little bit, I feel a little bit safer. I don't know if I'm exactly safe, but hey, I either figure out some really cool stuff or I get got. Whichever way happens, I guess that was what it was meant to be. Oh, Frederick, what happened? The soul of a financially savvy fish. Oh, rip Frederick to the moon. Oh, did somebody's pet fish die? I don't like it. Uh, I mean, I love it when they do little memorials to pets in games, but I don't like being reminded that pets can die. No pet dies. Pets live forever. They just don't live in our lives forever. Now I'm sad. Thanks, game. I don't know what financially savvy is going to do for me, but I am glad to have the Frederick with me. I'm also going to put on some of the fruit stickers to maximize my Frederickness, I guess. And I'm also going to pop on the contact lens because that's going to let me know if there's secrets around. Oh, Frederick, you're just the bestest little dude. <laughs> oh my god, I was worried that my whole screen was shaking, but I think it's just because there's a crab dance party going on over there. Okay, you guys, my screen is just going nuts, and I'm sick and tired of this. Wait, is this a side quest? Well, hey, hi, is this a side quest? Hello, Ed, what's up? The music never stops, I haven't slept for tides. What? <laughs> I got you, bud. I totally understand, I know the assignment. You guys like electricity? You probably love electricity, don't you? Can I have your disco ball, please? No, 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 don't drop the disco. Oh, I can twinkle. I've always wanted to twinkle. I guess not. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. Why am I rolling that way? I should roll the other way. And I should sparkle as I roll. Why are you still screaming? <laughs> Ed, quit. No need to yell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just been a little so long since I didn't have to yell. I can hear my own thoughts again. Oh, crap, I can hear my own thoughts again. <laughs> the music was a blessing in disguise. Bring it back, bring it back. I'll do anything. Whoops, gotta go. Uh, bye. Try not to lose your mind. You can totally relate. This is what I'm talking about. The lens, it shows you secret. And not just little secret, not baby secret. It's super secret. I love it so much, even though it takes up a little bit of a, like, a single stowaway sto slot. Oh, eh, get him, Frederick! Bite him! Bite him! Wait, I can unalive those? Oh my god, they're super weak. You really can bring them down. I don't know how many, I didn't pay attention, I don't know how many microplastics it was worth, but I'm sure it was worth enough. Hi! It's been a while since I've messed with a scout. You actually have 850 health. You might actually be an issue. Not if I can get up there, though. The biggest issue is just getting there. Frederick, G good boy. Keep biting. Get up, Frederick. Get up. Bite. Let them feel your anger. <laughs> you, you gotta hit me so I can parry. Son, not thou. Oh, whatever. Slam. I basically one shot at the thing. Okay, that works, I guess. Hi. I, I like your style, my dude. Uh, I know you feel it. Tugging on your heartstrings. Feel what? Homesickness for a place that never existed. Huh? But it exists. It does. We'll all find it soon enough. Oh, are you talking about the old ocean? It makes sense. You're really close to the styrofoam. 
and apparently a floppy disk. <laughs> so it is true then that all hermit crabs feel a draw to the old ocean. So we were feeling it. Even from the very beginning, we felt it without even knowing it. These are so good for XP, and they're worth a ton of experience. That one was worth 9,000 experience. That's a single little worm. I know right where they are. If you didn't have the contact lens on in this situation, you would be dead. <laughs> There's no way to find all of these. But with it, it's almost like just a perfect spot to grind experience. So if you're ever desperate for experience, this is the spot. You put on the contact lens, you make sure you have this ability where you can um, dodge backwards and then hop right back in. Then you just sit here and just farm these worms for as much experience as you want. Those two combined was 12,000 experience. That's a lot of experience, especially early on, because you can get that contact lens in the kelp field. At that point, 12,000 experience is basically all the experience you have at that point. <laughs> and at the very top, what's waiting? It better be really good. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's an adaptation. It's the Bobbit trap. Place a spectral Bobbit worm, so that must be what those things are, to ensnare and devour any enemy that walks across its hiding spot. That's amazing, and something easily missed. So, if anyone's looking for that one, it looks like it's in... Well, it's where the chains are, and if you find the spiky forest that contains all of the different Bobbit worms that want to eat your soul, that's where you're gonna find it, at the very tippy top. What other secrets are hiding out here? This is amazing. I love the fact that they put so much work and effort and detail into all of these little places that a lot of people probably won't even explore if they're just gonna run head first into just the main quest line. There's not even like a reason to go over here. Not that I know of anyway. One of the best things about having areas like this is that it kind of takes the boringness out of grinding for levels. Because, I, you know, you can go and grind levels in the exact same places over and over again and kind of just gain strength that way and be completely happy. And it's awesome. And, you know, there's a lot of games that the environment itself is so well built that grinding levels that way doesn't feel tedious. And then there's other games in which, you know, you know where you max out your your grind. Uh, you go to one specific spot, run the same thing over and over, and maybe it's even like you know you don't run magic, but you know that if you run magic in that one spot, everything's super weak and you can kind of just max out your XP gain. And that gets boring <laughs> after a little while. So making it so you can increase your XP and then just have your little buddy Frederick following you around and just run through areas you otherwise wouldn't in order to gain the XP, that is awesome. That, to me, is the best part about this whole situation, is that I'm just gaining a crap load of levels. There's another hermit crab. Because it's not Berm, who we saw before. It's still waiting for us. Our hermit home, closer than one might think. Beneath our very feet. All the hermits are drawn to it. So why isn't Krill drawn to it that way? Because we're not. We just want to head back. Head back to where we were. Head back to the life that we once had. Oh. Are we only partly hermit? Maybe we're only half hermit. And because of that, we can still use all of the abilities and powers of the hermit crab. But also, we have none of the hang-ups of the Hermit Crab. We're not controlled by the perfect world. We might be the perfect specimen. That'd be cool. <laughs> That'd be a crazy twist that I didn't even think about until right this second. We're not like a brain-dead hermit like the rest of them seem to act like. The world crumbles beneath us. Do you feel it? What has been built will return to sand, and what was forgotten will reemerge. Our home, our brilliant home. There are so many hermits, and they're all marching toward the ancient ocean. 
They're all so confident in it, too. That's kind of terrifying. And I opened up Pandora's box by opening it up. <laughs> oh my, quite literally, I opened up Pandora's box. Holy crap! This has been incredible. It's kind of been eye-opening going through and seeing all of these hermits. Seeing all of the ones who've been marching ever closer to the original ocean. To the old ocean. And seeing how we've actually been affecting this world without really even knowing we're doing it. That's kind of terrifying when you think about it. <laughs> we could have been opening up and clearing ways that the only reason that, you know, this whole world hasn't been taken over by hermit crabs to the up and to this point is because they it was inaccessible to them. And yet somehow we managed to do it. That's kind of scary when you think about it. <laughs> or is that just me? Is it just me who thinks that's terrifying? Why does that one have a health bar? Why do you have a health bar? Oh, you've gone crazy! Oh my god! They got infected by the gunk! I'm right! This place goes crazy eventually! That's the first of them. Oh my god, we've seen so much! And I can upgrade my fork another time. And I can also increase my stowaways one more time. Oh, this is about to get dark really fast, isn't it? I guess we'll find out, though, in the next episode. So, sorry, this one was more of, like, a grinding and discovery and adventure. Hopefully you guys still enjoyed it, and hopefully you'll enjoy the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching this one. And remember to take care. And in the next one, we'll be back in the old ocean. So, goodbye!